If you actually understand square roots and fractions, well, you should be able to tell me the answer to the square root of 2 and 1 fourth without using your calculator. Now, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to solve this problem without using a calculator. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, no calculators. What is the square root of 2 and 1 fourth? Many of you may be surprised how easy it is to get the answer. So what makes this problem really confusing for a lot of people is that we're taking the square root of a mixed number fraction. So what is a mixed number fraction? Well, a mixed number fraction is where you have a number and then like a little small fraction after that number. So this is what we call a mixed number fraction in mathematics. So we have regular fractions like 1 fourth. This is called a proper fraction. And then you have numbers where you have, let's say like 5 thirds. This is called an improper fraction. Now a proper fraction is where the denominator, the bottom number, is bigger than the top number called the numerator. So anytime you have a larger value in the denominator, then the numerator, you have a proper fraction. But if your numerator is bigger than your denominator, this is called an improper fraction. And you can write improper fractions as mixed number fractions, and you can write mixed number fractions as improper fractions. So that is really going to be the key to solving this problem. So how can we write 2 and 1 fourth as an improper fraction? Well, now that I kind of uh, talked about it, a lot of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is really easy. All you have to do is take your 2 and 1 fourth and take this uh, 4 and multiply it by 2, right? So 4 times 2 is 8, and then we add 1. So to change uh, 2, and 1, 2 and 1 fourth, this mixed number fraction, into an improper fraction, we take 4, multiply it by 2, that's 8, and then we're going to add 1. So we have 9, and then we're going to put that over this 4 right here. So 2 and 1 fourth, this mixed number fraction, is equivalent to the improper fraction, 9 fourths. Now let's just kind of confirm this here, right? So how can we be convinced that 9 fourths is in fact the same thing as 2 and 1 fourth? Well, anytime you have an improper fraction and you want to write it as a mixed number fraction, all you have to do is the division, right? So we'll take this 9 and we'll divide it by 4. So 9 divided by 4 is what? Well, 4 goes into 9, 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. So we're going to subtract. We have 1. So we have remainder 1, but we can write this as 1 fourth. Okay, so here, instead of looking at this problem as the square root of 2 and 1 fourth, let's look at it this way. Okay, we'll look at it as the square root of 9 fourths. All right, now this is a major clue on how to solve this problem. So at this point, I'm going to uh, kind of just suggest, matter of fact, let me write this a little bit better. There is a property of square roots, okay, to solve this problem, or we can use in this problem. Now, if you don't know it, why don't you just maybe take a guess? What do you think we can do here uh, to uh, take the square root of 9 fourths? Now, if you're saying to yourself, I feel like we just maybe take the square root of both of these numbers in the fraction. Maybe the answer is like the square root of 3 or square root of 9 is 3, and then the square root of 4 is 2. So it would be awesome if our answer is 3 halves. Well, indeed, this is the correct answer. And if you got this right, I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and an A plus and a 100%. So great job. But why is this correct? All right, so we're taking the square root of 9 fourths, and the answer is 3 halves. But why is this right? Well, let's talk about that right now. So I said that you have to use a property of square roots, 
and a property is uh, more or less a law that we can follow. And the way this works is the following. So anytime you are taking the uh, square root of a fraction, you can actually just take the square root of its numerator and the square root of its denominator. So in other words, we can break this up separately. So instead of the square root of 9 fourths, we can write this as the square root of 9 over the square root of 4. Now, of course, this changes everything because we know the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 4 is 2. So 3 halves is our final answer. All right, so again, I think a lot of people got confused here because they looked at this uh, mixed number fraction. They were like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is very confusing. Well, anytime you have mixed number fractions in mathematics, especially in algebra, it's always a good idea more, well, generally speaking, most of the time, it's a really good idea to change these mixed number fractions into improper fractions. Okay, so if you need help with basic math, algebra, geometry, or you know, basically uh, any level of mathematics from middle school to college level mathematics, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.